Hi there. Today we are going to be reviewing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is not a review of the movie itself. This is more a review on the storytelling aspects that it uses. More specifically, the Rashomon structure with the multiple main characters and the hero's journey. Okay, very simply, there are six Spider-Man in this movie. The main one is Miles. He has a responsibility given to him to be able to stop the bad guy. He isn't able to live up to it. He ends up getting better throughout the movie through a bunch of different events. Ends up getting the power to be able to win and become Spider-Man. But the main, that is not what we're here really to discuss. We're here more to discuss the two things that this movie does really, really well. Outside of well, everything, of course. Rosh, the Rashomon story structure and more specifically, at least in this video, the hero's journey and how this movie is different and changes what it, that do, what it does in that. It's hard to go into detail about every single way it does this, but in this movie, Spider-Man is not someone who follows the general hero's journey formula. He's a hero, but not the hero in the hero's journey. You see... I only have a couple minutes to be able to explain this, so I can't go into detail about every single thing it does different, but here are just a few examples, just to give you heads up, like. For example, Miles there on the right, as I was saying before, when, has recently got into an elite school on a scholarship. Now, this is out of the ordinary. Most heroes start in a place that they are ordinary with. That they understand or used to. That's not the case here. Another thing is that Miles on the right here has a kind of mentor figure, but not too much, in Spider Man or middle aged Peter Parker on the left. Have, and with the. And when he gets the task earlier before he even meets him, he ends up being called to an adventure to answer the call. He doesn't refuse. He does this. It's Peter who refuses the call, and he has to be convinced. Another subversion of the hero's journey that this movie does is how it handles the idea of the gift or prize in the hero's journey. You see, in most hero's journeys, in most stories that they are present in, whether it be movies, books, etc., the prize is usually getting the girl which this movie does not do. This movie makes it clear that, yes, these two may might have mutual romantic feelings towards each other by the end of the movie, which is fine, and it does this well with having them have good chemistry, but it does not have Miles' journey as a hero be what makes these two have any kind of feelings towards each other. By having it be... Things that are not like that, then having things that are not related to those parts of their lives, it makes it more, not only more interesting, it also is a good subversion of those character, of that kind of character. And lastly, while I can't go into too much great detail about it because of the time limit, I will say this movie handles multiple characters perfectly, the Rossamon structure. It mostly focuses on Miles, P Miles, Peter Parker, and Gwen, but it sh shows all these perspectives realistically and makes it so it's easier to relate and have a good hero's journey. Also subverting it at the same time, too, which is nice. <sighs> okay, that was quite a bit to go over in that amount of time. And I will, I only got like, I didn't even 30% of it, but I will say a, that, but I'm out of time, and thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.